Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called TH Strikes Back. And this game was suggested by YouTube user Kuhad. This was created by Gaelco in 1994. And it is a sequel to a game called Thunder Hoop. And with that title, it sounds like it would be about basketball. It is not. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, like, platform jumping, uh, ladder climbing adventure game. And, uh, the game rips off the look of the character Goku from Dragon Ball. And in, uh, TH Strikes Back, and the TH is, stands for a thunder hoop, um, it's an adult Goku, like from Dragon Ball Z. But uh, he has a circle on his chest, which is the hoop, I guess. Gaelco was a Spanish company. And I guess in this game... <laughs> you're, uh, I guess your dad is killed by some mad scientist. And uh, as the adult Goku type character, you have to get revenge. And... Uh, I guess the uh, mad scientist is in command of this weird alien race of uh, fairly large-chested women. <laughs> Just, yeah, the way that uh, the protagonist in this game is dressed, it's just like uh, Goku from uh, Dragon Ball Z. But uh, this sequel was created by Gaelco in 1994. You can play two-player simultaneous play. The second player looks fairly original, at least. Um, but uh, you have this power that you shoot from your hands. And uh, you can shoot uh, in any direction, really. Except perhaps uh, downwards to the left or right. But... Um, you have to you have to score a million two hundred thousand at least to uh, get on the high score list. But you can score a lot of points in this game. But um, you could get like a power up that'll increase the strength of your shot to either a laser or to uh, like a giant. I'm not sure what it is, but there are the aliens. I didn't understand what she said right there. Well, let's get started. These uh, flying things will grant you uh, uh, bonus uh, points, and the uh, the uh, alien women, when you shoot them, they get fat and they explode. <laughs> very weird game, but it's it's very playable. Um, you are one hit kill, which kind of sucks, but the game is very forgiving in collision detection, which is nice. Um, the uh, power-up that you get will not really last all that long. I have I have never seen any of the uh, Gaelco games in uh, the arcades. They might have not have any of them uh, been released in the U.S. I don't know. Um, but... Gaelco's games generally tend to be weird, or they have nudity in them. And I've I've got to warn you, there is one one brief part in this game where there is a little bit of nudity, and I'll let you know when it comes up. The game generally starts off as fairly easy, um, but again, one hit, and uh, you will lose life, and you only get two lives there will be another uh, power-up that will give you a brief invincibility, or uh, it'll allow you to take one extra hit. And you'll see a little shield around you. And when it's gone, then uh, your next hit will be fatal. But yeah, the, uh, the red balls will be, uh, will be the power-ups. Um, you have a special attack, and you only have one per life. And here is the first boss. And the first boss is pretty easy. 
use both uh, use both floors to your advantage. The women aliens can uh, grab onto you, and if you don't shake them off by wiggling the joystick, they can probably kill you. But yeah, switch between the two uh, floors and just keep shooting the boss. It takes a long time for the boss's energy to run out. And you see their meter at top center. But just get far away enough from him so that his uh, spines can't kill you. The uh, fodder enemies, even if you run into them, they will not often kill you. The bosses, however, will kill you by touching you. And that's the end of the first boss. I think it is funny that uh, the, f the alien women that you kill will get fat and then explode. <laughs> Very weird game. And now we'll go to uh, stage two. <laughs> yeah, now this is my favorite power-up. You get these... I'm not sure what these are. Are these uh, firebirds or something that you shoot? But they're big and they can cause lots of damage. You can uh, not only uh, survive uh, an, a an attack from a lot of the uh, fodder enemies, but uh, you can bounce on their heads. You can jump on their heads and bounce. You can even do that to the bosses. And you can cause damage that way. Some of these uh, alien women will uh, generate a force field. Watch out for this guy on the ground. He will charge at you right when you uh, land. And there's my uh, extra hit. This game really isn't bad by any means. It's very weird. Some of the bosses are kind of hard. But again, remember that you can bounce on an enemy's head. And uh, you can do damage that way. There will be some areas where you're instantly killed. Uh, not just by touching an enemy, but you can land on spikes. There will be a couple parts later on in the game where you take a ride on a little, uh, you do a little rail car uh, ride and um, you will die if you screw up on it. You can hit your head on a, ah crap, there I died. You can hit your head on a, a, on a post or a beam or you can uh, land on spikes, and we'll get to that later on. Oh, there's my shield, or uh, the one hit that I can uh, take. But yeah, a lot of the time when you come into direct contact with a uh, fodder enemy, it won't register. So uh, the hit detection definitely works in your favor. But again, this is a sequel. And the first game is called Thunder Hoop. And one of these days I'll uh, review that game. You have to uh, destroy this green, uh, this green case here. And once you do that, then you go face the boss. And this boss is mostly easy, but sometimes he deviates from his pattern. You can jump and hang from this part, and you can shoot in any direction. Stay in the middle. And when he drops those flames, it can burn your hand and make you fall. Which isn't fatal, but you need to get back up on the on the thing and hang from it again. Just keep aiming in his direction as he flies around. Hey, he shouldn't have been able to do that. And he was almost dead. Oh well. I will uh, play one more credit. But again, you do have a, uh, there I beat him, 
you do have a uh, special attack one special attack per life and it's used uh, or you execute it with the press of a an extra button and now we're gonna go to stage three and here is the rail uh, uh, or a rail car or whatever uh, uh, I was telling you about you will sometimes have to shoot aliens you will sometimes have to just jump over the spikes or uh, low uh, beam there or whatever there will be higher beams you have to duck under like that one but when you come up, come to spikes just press jump don't move while you press jump now here you have to jump across to another platform just jump straight up to get over those spikes now you have to do it again just jump straight up there this takes a while to get used to if you screw up on the little rail car thing you have to start over at the beginning of it yeah if you die you have to start over at the beginning of it. that kinda sucks but again those little flying guys will give you bonus points sometimes these uh, alien women will have a shield and you have to wait until uh, they drop their shield then you can kill them where there's the where there's either an arrow or where there's a lot of green lights that's where you jump up don't touch that uh, buzzsaw there that'll kill you <laughs> well I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl uh, next Sunday ah oh, crap well they got me I uh, did not want the Rams or the Patriots to be in the Super Bowl oh well I guess I'll be rooting for the Rams since they've uh, since they've got a couple uh, players that used to be for my uh, Buffalo Bills. And I'm sick of the Patriots. Who isn't? <laughs> Other than people in the New England area. There I used a, uh, I think I used a uh, special attack. The special attack, um, there I bounced on a couple enemies. The special attack will just be like a scattering uh, fireball or something. And now here's the next boss. Now here's the slight nudity. Just a topless, very fat, disgusting thing. Yucky. Stay far away or they'll grab you. And don't let them jump on you or they will splat you and you'll automatically die. Eh, ah, wiggle the joystick if they grab you. And if they get too close to you, they can knock you off the ledge and automatically kill you. And I neglected to continue right here. I just let the timer run out so I can put my name on the high score list. But we will look at uh, later parts of the rest of the game in a little bit. What a disgusting fat... <laughs> topless boss how gross <laughs> well I can't put my whole name in you could put in uh, six letters and I made fifth place not too bad for just a couple credits but you get to keep your score with each continue and let's just zip forward and kill this boss so gross <laughs> yeah we will look at snippets of the rest of the game and here you're actually riding a spaceship <laughs> how are you not flying off now on this part you just gotta stay alive and destroy things coming from the left and right. You can accidentally fall off the ship by going too far to the left or right. After uh, being, after uh, surviving long enough, then you will uh, go through a uh, space shooting sequence that rips off uh, Astro Boy. <laughs> the uh, 
the old uh, manga or uh, cartoon. And we'll look at that in just a moment. Oops, yep, I accidentally fell off to my death. And now we'll move on to the, uh... See, it's just like Astro Boy, the way he flies. And the way he shoots with his hand. <laughs> this game is uh, definitely playable. I kind of, uh... I kind of like it. It's got uh, decent graphics. You cannot shoot those missiles, unfortunately. You just have to avoid them. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the power up I like most. Your uh, flaming shots or whatever they are. They're nice and powerful and wide. Ah, crap. <laughs> yeah, the original game is, is very different. Uh, Thunder Hoop. It kind of has the feel of like a, an early 90s uh, Windows game. Or, a, a, you know, computer game. Yeah, this was probably never seen in the U.S., I would imagine. But uh, those of you who have seen it, uh, let me know your thoughts about it. I kind of like it. It's just uh, very weird, and they shamelessly ripped off uh, Goku from Dragon Ball Z in this, and uh, Astro Boy. And now we're done with the... Uh, spaceship and uh, flying scenes and we face a boss it spits uh, acid at you and it makes a wave of uh, acid on the ground and again don't forget that you can bounce whoops crap don't forget that you can bounce on the enemy's heads and damage them that way there, I used uh, what, my special attack. Let's just speed it up and kill the boss here. There we go. And we're at stage five. We'll have another, uh, another, uh, uh rail car or, uh, moving platform scenario a bit later on. Yeah, use that, uh, use that bounce on the enemy tactic, tactic to your advantage. Yeah, as in, uh, as in a lot of other games that, whoop, get off of me as in a lot of other games that allow you to jump between platforms, higher or lower platforms, you simply press up and jump to uh, jump up to the higher platforms and then down and jump to drop down to lower platforms. I like the... I, oh, I hate this guy. He'll hit you from behind with his boomerang thing. And he's got a... Uh, chain that he can sling at you but uh yeah I like how uh, forgiving the collision collision detection is on the uh on the fodder enemies uh, we're just scooting forward to it uh, later parts of the game yeah those eggs will have enemies <laughs> I love the splat animation those eggs will have enemies come out before you can destroy the eggs. And here's another uh, rail car, or whatever uh, platform scenario. You just have to get used to uh, reacting in time. Just jump straight up on there. And here I jumped too soon and I died. 
So you have to let the platform sink a little bit before you jump across. And again, when you approach those spikes, just jump straight up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just showing you where you can die and uh, scooting forward from that po point a little bit. Yeah, you have to let the platform drop and almost reach the spikes. Then you jump across to the right. And there, we made it. But uh, again, this was suggested by YouTube user Kuhod. And I'm uh, getting to... Uh... Ah, damn it, I hate those guys. I'm uh, getting to requests. I'm uh, trying to get through as many as I can. Sorry that sometimes the games won't work in MAME, or uh, I can't figure out the controls or something. Note that as I'm moving to the right, that uh, blade is following me. It's still not really a threat unless you go backwards and jump on it. And now here's... Huh? I don't think that was English. <laughs> but this is the final boss of the game. The, uh... The, uh, scientist... I guess is wearing a giant robot suit. The robot suit can mush you. Here is a good... And he sh can shoot missiles. Here is a good time to uh, bounce on him as much as you can. He also shoots electricity on you. But he can... He can smush you. So be careful. Don't try to stay with bouncing on him forever. Yeah, and you can't shoot those missiles in mid-air. There, I used my... Uh, <laughs> see, he can mush you. I almost killed him. There we go. Well, that is the end of TH Strikes Back, and it is the sequel to Thunder Hoop. And here are the credits for uh, TH Strikes Back. Maybe the game was also called Thunder Hoop 2. The, uh, <laughs> and there's a uh, programming staff. <laughs> Kinda cool. Um, maybe the uh, game was also known as Thunder Hoop 2. The, uh, ROM or Rom said it's called T-Hoop 2. But I'll put in my initials again. And this time I believe I'll get the, the top score. Yes, I did. But that is uh, TH Strikes Back by Gaelco in 1994. This is Crazy Clum Ray saying thanks for watching TH Strikes Back, the sequel to Thunder Hoop by Guy Elko in 1994. I uh, hope you have a good one, and I will catch you later with another video. Take it easy, everybody, and enjoy the Super Bowl next week. Bye-bye, folks.